Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about different scientific devices used in daily life. This is a basic general knowledge topic covered for any entrance exam. Let's start. Very first of all, what is a scientific device? A scientific device is any device used for scientific calculations or measurements. We call it scientific device. There are different different scientific devices used for different uses. The first device is altimeter. We break the word into two. That is alti plus meter. What is alti? Alti means altitude and meter is to measure. What is altitude? Altitude means height of anything taken from sea level. Why are we measuring from the sea level? Because sea level is the same everywhere. Altitude is always measured in feet. Feet is a unit of length. Length is measured for height. So altimeter is used to measure altitude. It is mainly used in aircrafts. The next device is a meter. A meters are instruments for measuring either direct or alternating current that is AC or DC. It is measured in amperes. A meters are also used to detect problems in electrical circuits that may be unusually high or low levels of current. The unit of measurement is amperes and that is why it has got its name a meter. So the next device is audiometer. Audio means like everyone will be knowing sound. Like I am speaking, I am audible. Audiometer is used to measure the intensity of the sound. The volume is very high. The music is very loud. But how much loud? This is measured by audiometer. Barometer. What is the use of barometer? Barometer is used to measure the atmospheric pressure. What is atmospheric pressure? What is atmosphere? Atmosphere is the envelope of gases surrounding the earth. So these gases exert pressure. This is called atmospheric pressure. So barometer is used to measure the atmospheric pressure. Binoculars. This everyone will be knowing. It is used to view distant objects nearer. Where are we using these binoculars? We use it during trips for bird watching and in stadiums. Yeah, binocular is used to view distant objects nearer. The next device is calorie meter. Here also we break the word into two. That is calorie plus meter. What is meant by calorie? Calorie means heat and meter is to measure. So calorie meter is used to measure the quantity of the heat. Cardiogram. What can be the use of cardiogram? What is the meaning of cardio? Cardio means it is associated with heart. Cardiologist. We call them doctors of heart. Wherever we hear the word cardio, it is for heart. Now, why we are using cardiogram? To study the movements or problems of heart. We can trace the movement of the heart and it records the result in cardiograph. We get the result in cardiograph. The next device is dynamo. Dynamo is an electric generator. 
that is it converts mechanical energy into electrical energy it is the first electric generator capable of delivering power so its function is to change mechanical energy into electrical energy the next device is dynamometer it is a device for measuring force or power it measures electrical power so this is how a dynamometer looks electrometer here also we divide the word into two electro plus meter electro means electricity we get electricity bill every time in our home how much electricity is consumed by us how it is measured it is measured by electrometer electrometer is used to measure the electricity the next device is electroscope most of you will be knowing about this it is an early scientific instrument used to detect the presence of electric charge on a body electroscope is used to detect the presence of an electric charge on any body endoscope it contains the word endo and the meaning of endo is internal and scope is to see it is a device used by the doctors why is it used it is used to view the internal parts of the body it is used to view the organs and other internal parts of the body the next device is fathometer what is the use of fathometer it is used to measure the depth of the ocean we can observe at some places of the ocean the part is shallow and some part it is very deep how it is measured it is measured with the use of fathometer the next device is galvanometer galvanometer is a instrument used to measure the electric current of low magnitude it has derived its name from the italian researcher lalgi galvani hence it has got its name galvanometer the next device is hydrometer it is a device used to measure some characteristics of liquid the characteristics could be density specific gravity etc so hydro hydro means water so it measures some characteristics of water especially specific gravity of liquids hygrometer hygrometer measures the humidity in air what is humidity humidity is the water content in air water content means the moisture amount of moisture in the air it is measured with the help of hygrometer the next device is lactometer this everyone will be knowing what is the meaning of lacto lacto means milk it determines the purity of milk this is used by government to check the purity of milk so likewise lactobacillus bacteria where it is used lactobacillus bacteria helps to convert milk to curd so the word lacto means milk lactometer is used to measure the purity of milk the last device is manometer manometer is used to measure the pressure of gases so don't confuse between barometer and manometer barometer is used to measure the atmospheric pressure manometer is used to measure the pressure of gases So remember barometer is for atmospheric pressure and manometer is for pressure of any gases 
So I have mostly covered the names of the devices in this sessions. I will include some more devices that are left out in the next video. So continue watching the channel for more GK topics. Now if anyone have any doubts, you can ask me through comment section. With this, I am summing up the session. So bye everyone. See you in the next video.